This review looks at a Tadano All-Terrain Crane. It's the AC 4.080-1 and that numbering system presumably means it's a 4 axle crane of 80 tonne capacity and this is version 1. Looking at the back of the box we see this is genuine Tadano merchandise and the model maker is IMC Models. Straight onto the Weybridge with the box and it's £3.6 ounces or 1.54 kilograms. Excitement mounts as we open up the box and pull out what's inside. And we see there's the usual pair of expanded polystyrene trays. And resting in the top tray is a small build manual and we'll have a look at that in more detail shortly. The packaging is nicely designed because the trays clip together. And that's so much nicer than just having them taped. If we go for the big reveal, we see that the parts are nicely wrapped in soft paper. A nice touch with this model is that all the tools that you need are included and that includes a good quality set of pliers and also tweezers. Here is the build manual and it starts with a list of the parts that are included and a thoughtful touch is that it also shows you where the parts are located within the tray. The pins that are used also come in separately numbered small bags. The manual then goes on to describe how to set the model up for use as a crane and the instructions are clear and easy enough to follow. The manual also has a separate section on how to set the crane up in transport mode. And the manual also has a section with some details about the real crane. <laughs> As usual we'll start by getting the crane ready for the road and there's a separate access ladder provided. It has its own storage position on the carrier deck and tabs on it slot into some holes. Next we can sort out the counterweight and it is made of some separate parts and for transport it sits on the carrier deck under the main boom and by doing that it helps to equalise out the load on the axles. The crane hook is already reeved in the factory but we'll let out some more rope using the winch key. And when we've got enough we can hook the crane hook onto the chain at the front under the cab. After that we just need to sort out the safety cutout chain. And that gets clipped onto the rope. There are a couple more pieces of counterweight to fit and there's one on each side and they're quite unusually shaped. They clip on at the back so they're not easily dislodged. Next we have the fly jib and that rests on two holders on the side of the boom. There is one other part which is not described in the manual and it looks like it might be a light or some kind of wind gauge. It clips into a slotted hole at the top of the boom and once it's fitted it's a reasonably tight fit. So let's just weigh the completed crane and it comes in at two pounds four ounces or just over one kilogram. Starting underneath the carrier we can see that the detail level is high, the structure is modelled under the cab, and the modelling of the carrier's axles is very good, with suspension and transmission parts all represented. There are also a number of small tanks. The tyres have a good tread pattern. The cab has got a modern beacon light design, and other details include a set of windscreen wipers and nicely modelled lights. The chain for the hook is good and the hook itself is a nice metal part. The detail inside the cab is also very good. The high standard of detailing continues on the side of the cab and includes textured steps. The use of tiny graphics also adds realism to the model. 
And that continues with the nicely detailed wheels. The tyres are plain with no branding in the sidewalls. And there's a rigid skirt above the wheels. There seems to be a holder for a single line hook block behind the cab. The crane cab has got metal grab rails. And again the realism is enhanced by all of the graphics on the side of the cab. At the back of the crane there are a couple more beacon lights. And there are also some hydraulic hoses. Good quality textured surfaces are also provided. The boom has got some good quality highlighting. And there's also an empty spooling drum. The textured surfaces continue at the back of the crane. And there's some high quality lights detailed. There's no number plate on this generic model. But there is a towing hitch. On the opposite side there are some equipment boxes and you can see the deck access ladders. A highlight here is the toothed slewing ring and more small graphics add detail. The fly jib is an all metal part and all the sheaves on the model are metal. The outrigger beams are nicely decorated but the pistons are of the old fashioned screw thread variety. A nice detail on the carrier deck is the exhaust system. And the exhaust pipe has a formed hole. The main boom ram has a metal jacket. Starting underneath the wheels all spin independently. And there is linked steering on the front two axles. The range of movement is moderate. For some reason the rear axles are also linked but I'm not sure why because on the real crane they are independent. All of the axles on the model have nicely sprung suspension. In terms of rolling along this model is not as precise as some. There is some flexibility in the steering. And to get all wheels properly grounded you need to push down a little. In terms of the suspension that does work. And it's good that it's not too soft. Let's try and replicate some of the steering modes. And the angle of the steering is not as tight as you would like. With some effort you can get the crane to turn a corner. And you can simulate crab steering. But again the model is not a precise mover. We're on site so let's set the crane up. And to begin with we'll pull out the outriggers. And they are just single stage beams. You can unscrew the pads and lower them in the usual way. And four metal spreader plates are included with the model. If you want you can set the model high enough to be wheels free. Next we'll detach the hook from the transport position. And then we can get on and lift the boom up. It is very smooth on the model because there's no friction in the ram. And to lock it in position you use the delicate allen key on a grub screw. Another feature of the model is that you can lower the deck access ladders. And you can extend a walkway plate from the cab. The crane rotates but to fix the ballast it's best to do that by hand off to one side. And it needs to be offered up underneath the rear plate and then clipped into position. This works reasonably well. Included with the model is a Tadano load plate to keep some tension on the hook. And that certainly helps when you do things like extending the boom. The innermost boom section is quite thin. And the telescopic sections don't extend as precisely as on some models. The boom locks sometimes don't engage precisely. But each section has two of them at approximately half and full extension. The other display option you have is to fit the fly jib. And if you want you can just slit it on over the eyelets to have a rigid connection. But there's more flexibility if you only secure the lower eyelets with the supplied pins. And that's because you can use the two ratchet bars on the top to give a variable position. These ratchet beams also get pinned into position. And you do have to be a little bit careful with them when you're using the model to make sure they don't drop out. After that we can reroute the hoist cable after we've cut the hook off. And there is a minor irritation that in the factory they glued the knot of the rope. So we had to use a little micro drill to clean all of that out. So here we have the hook fitted with a single drop of rope. And to make the model look right it's probably a good idea to take off the safety chain. And as long as you're careful you can ease it off its connection. There's a long brass nut and bolt which connects the ratchet beams to the fly jib. 
And if you remove that, you can alter the angle of the fly jib. So again, that gives some more flexibility in display options. Let's do a dim check on the boom, fully extended, and it's nearly 44 inches or 112 centimeters. And adding the fly jib gives you a little bit more on top. This is a very well presented Tadano crane model from IMC. As you come to expect, the standard of detailing is very high and most of the functionality works very well. It would also look very good in other colour schemes. So overall, if you want a 4-axle mobile crane, this one is excellent. Mm -hmm.